Man, what's up, Fragrance fam? Welcome back into another video with your boy. And today I have with me something I would call the Swiss Army Knife. So called, you can get about three kind of scent DNAs from this one, guys. And not only that, it costs roughly around $22. And that is Rubraca Pride Pour Home. This one right here, guys. We're going to talk about this one. Stay tuned. It is the Fragrance Show. Right, guys welcome back into my channel man this is your first time here i'm your humble host jerome smith and you're now rocking with the fragrance show guys shouts out to all my new subscribers my return subscribers peace to everybody in the fragrance community and that's right guys we're talking rubraca rubraca now i do believe some of you guys that do follow my channel have mentioned to me this fragrance house uh, I believe that's the house of Rubraca. Uh, you guys have mentioned this fragrance to me, I do believe. And I finally pulled the trigger on this one probably about a couple weeks ago. Got this bottle from eBay. This one right here. I'm going to link the seller down low in the description for sure. And I do believe the price on this one was like a roughly around $20 to $23. So I call it the Swiss Army Knife because this is giving me Blue Day Chanel vibes. It is giving me Invictus Aqua vibes. It's also giving me a little, a little, little slight Azuro Wanted by Night vibes as well. But let's go ahead and get into the note breakdown and the presentation on this one, guys. Presentation, you have this black square bottle. Uh, it feels up like some high quality, I will say that. Uh, but pretty simple. The cap right here says Pride Pour Ohm. And on the cap, if you guys can see that, it has the label Rubraca. And this is 100 ml. 3.4 ounce guys and it is an Oda perfume concentration and this is the box right here and the atomizer is pretty good as well I'm gonna get this on a strip for y'all but I have worn this and I definitely have worn this one to work so I'm gonna get it on the strip for y'all let that sit down for a second and we're gonna get into the note breakdown the notes listed on this one guys right on fragrantica and the top is apple geranium and lavender and in the mid you got some amber sandalwood and you have patchouli and in the base you got cedarwood musk and oak moss man this thing opens up with a nice citrus sweet combination guys like i said to me when it first opened up yeah, I was like, oh, this smells like Invictus Aqua for sure. Like it's giving me those kind of vibes, you know what I'm saying? More so on the fresh side versus like the Invictus bubblegum scent DNA, but it definitely has like a mixture of the two, in my opinion. Um, and then when this thing starts to work through the mid, I'm like, yo, wait a minute, this is changing. This to me can also go for like a nice Blue de Chanel kind of style kind of fragrance as well because of that patchouli that's in it and you also got musk in it and then the oak moss in the base and also that is an ambery feel to this one and man the sandalwood is done so nice in this this is like i don't want to say a hidden gem but this thing is for the price point man this i feel like if you're doing clones and you're on a budget you got to have this in your collection guys for sure and like i said cinnamon is not listed here you have geranium you also got lavender lavender give this one another kind of fresh side a little bit it's not a earthy lavender patchouli gives it a slight earthy kind of vibe and the sandalwood is done real nice in this one. And the reason why I was calling it the Swiss Army Knife because the versatility, to me, a fragrance like this, it has extreme versatility, meaning like you can wear this one about anywhere, any occasion, with any kind of attire that you want. And it's a good fragrance. I ain't gonna lie, for to be under $25, it's one of my best pickups this year, guys. The opening, you definitely gonna get that apple. The apple in this one, uh, sort of reminds me of a kind of apple opening to a little bit of like the YXL Y EDT concentration with that kind of apple in the opening. But man, this is giving me like two, definitely two style kind of fragrances for sure. 
boy, this is nice. And then also, you know, I don't know how many flankers is in this house, but being as though I smelled this and I liked it, I went ahead and ordered the intense uh, version of this. And they also have a oud, a rubraca kind of oud one as well, which they all fall to that category of 20 to about 20 to 25 dollars guys so to me for sure you can wear this fragrance at in the day or in the night it has some sweetness to it which gives it like a sort of a alluring kind of sex appeal to it as well um yeah this is just an overall good fragrance um something you can wear on a date something you can wear like i said if you're going to a lounge or some kind of setting where you know a club kind of setting you can also wear this to me this one has the compliment factor to it as well and i could definitely see this one holding you down uh do those occasions man this is nice and for subscribers watching this and if you are the one that pointed me into the direction of the Rue Braca, I thank you very much. So, you know, opening, sweet, fresh, slight earthiness from patchouli, a fresh lavender, gives this one a nice kind of body to it as well. Now, some people, I was looking at some of the comments on it. Some people say it has a synthetic vibe to it. And I could see that just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's not over, not extra smooth, but to me, it's not bad. And I like the sandalwood in this one and the musk as well, like amber too, guys. This is nice. Um, I like the vers uh, this one is screaming versatility to me for sure. Now performance on it, I got about six hours of good performance. Projection was good over an hour, started to dial itself back once it hit that hour and a half mark. But to can be considered to me, I would definitely consider this a blue fragrance. To be considered like a blue fragrance, it has decent performance guys, for sure. So you guys let me know if you have the Rue Braca pride um home i seen a lot of people saying the intense one um it's kind of better than this but there's some people saying this is better than intense i would definitely when them, when that fragrance come in the mail and the other one i would definitely get that up on the channel for y'all but just to get this one out as a fragrance under 25 dollars i think it's well worth it and i think you guys definitely need to go get this one and add it to your collection for sure let me know down in the comments what y'all think about the rue Braca pride home um, I watched the video uh, my man Joy Amen uh, talked this one up. He really likes it as well. Uh, you guys let me know if you have any experience with the other ones, the Intense or the Oud one for sure, all right? So if you need more content, click on that video header up above. You want to like and subscribe to the channel, you go and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Salute.